if you decide to sell products from your website and decide to really, you know, kind of give that a go, here's what you're going to be faced with. There's going to be there's going to be a decision because you're going to need to use software to enable the sales. This video is brought to you by EpiPies Academy. If okay, here's how the decision works. Okay, if you just have one or two or three or five products, so essentially you're not a really e-commerce store. You just happen to be a different kind of business, maybe a content you know focused business or a different kind of business, but you just happen to have products like me. You know, I'm not a store, but I happen to have products, right? Like digital products. I'm working on some physical products, things like that, right? But I'm not a store. At least my main site isn't like a store where people check out, right? Because if I actually want to sell something, let's say I sell my Udemy courses, well, I send people to my Udemy page. So there's no reason for me to have a shopping cart for Udemy, right? Same thing about books. There's no reason for me to have a shopping cart. I just send people to Amazon. So that's the consideration, right? If you sell products that uh, can be sold somewhere else, like Udemy courses, Amazon books, things like that, you really don't need a, sh a shopping cart solution. Now, let's say you want to sell a online course just like in Udemy, but from your own site. W let's not discuss, you know, the decision process. I mean, there, 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 there's, there can be many kinds of products you, you can want to sell from your own site. Like, let's say, let's say, for example, you, you create a high-end sort of like fashion brand and you don't want to be on Amazon because on Amazon, you feel like your brand will be tarnished because your brand is a higher end brand. It's like a couture or something like that, right? Like really, you know, so you don't, so you don't want to be on Amazon. You want to sell it from your own super branded site. Okay. Well, you know, if you have a product line, if you have like one product you sell, you probably, or, you know, a couple of, couple of designs. Okay. You probably are okay with just getting a um, WordPress plugin. Because WordPress is probably the easiest thing to do SEO and they have so many other plugins for other kinds of things you'll want to do. So really WordPress will be the most flexible and it, it, it's, it powers like 20% of all sites on the web. So it's hard to go wrong. Now, if you have a full, full store, okay, like a full product line, then you might want to build not on website, uh, not on WordPress, but you might want to build on a kind of like an e-commerce store solution, right? So then the consideration becomes, do you use something called like Magento or Shopify or a number of these other uh, frameworks? Um, they all are going to create a nice store for you. The difference with them is in the details, um, right? So you understand the decision making before, right? If, you're, if your products can be sold elsewhere on other side, Set funnel people there. If your products need to be, if you have only a few products you want to sell from your site, just use a WordPress plugin for e-commerce. It, it's probably it's free for to start, and um, as far as I recall, and there are a few options. Uh, most of them are free, and um, it's really easy to get going. You can create something like that in in less than a day. But if you now the the, the decision is really if you decide to have a full blown store. Um, traditionally, the, the solution has been Magento, something called Magento. It's like a framework. You just, it's kind of like exactly like WordPress, but it's, it's like think of it as WordPress for building an e-commerce store. So WordPress can be like for building a blog, for building a content site. Magento would be for building a full commerce store. Now, in recent years, there Magento. Um, I, I guess not so much in recent years, but in recent years, it's just been more of it. Magento has a bunch of competitors now that are new startup y kind of sites. And one of the, um, and here I am hovering over an article that compares the 10 best hosted e commerce solutions, as you can see, so that you don't have to take my word for it. I mean, this is well researched. I obviously am just one person. I would not have been able to use all of them. So I'm going to point you to another article. Um, and I'm going to talk about a few of these. So these are all shopping carts. As you can see, these guys list Magento first. And I'll have the link to this uh, right after the video. So Magento first for these guys. 
Then WooCommerce, which is a popular thing, and I'll, I'll let you read the pros and cons on your own because I'm going to bore you with it if there's something you can go through. Then there's like Zencart, blah, blah, blah. It, it just goes down the line, really just, they're a little bit too similar to really, you know, because what do you really need? You, you need to manage your inventory, you need to manage newsletters, discounts. It's really common um, from for like most stores, like 95% of the stores, all these Web uh, solutions have all the features you will need. Sometimes the price, is, you know, the differences with price and whatever. Now Shopify is not listed here uh, for some reason. Open cart, let's see. Um, but I'm going to mention it here because Shopify is a really good one. And there's another article that I'm going to also link to. It compares Shopify versus Magento. And in my mind, these are two of the leaders if I was deciding on what on building an e-commerce store, these would be the first two sites I'd look at. Um, they are the most reputable. The only thing that I want to show you is look at this, dear Magento Go merchants, and Magento Go is there is Magento's current solution. On February 20, 2015, they're shutting down, and they are going to focus on their community edition and their enterprise edition. I haven't used those to be honest, so I'm going to let you kind of research them. Uh, maybe one of them is for you. The enterprise one sounds like it's for bigger sites, which if you're probably watching this video, this might not be the right thing for you, but the community edition might be because it sounds like they're going to take advantage of more of social media and things like that. So, um, so the, the consideration would still be probably this Magento Go edition versus the Shopify. So now you understand um, the shopping carts. Okay, I'll also there's another kind of category. And there's another category of, of sites that can enable commerce, and they are sort of Squarespace, Weebly, or even something called Wix, and even GoDaddy. Okay, I'm going to group GoDaddy into this. GoDaddy actually will, let me actually talk a little bit about GoDaddy separately. Um, I would not use it, okay? Um, they do provide you with an e-commerce solution. They have a great tech support. But I've never seen a nice store built on top of a nice e-commerce store built on top of GoDaddy. They are they have the solution, but it's clunky and it's really not good. But most people see the trick that most people fall, the trap most people fall into is they buy their URL at GoDaddy, and because of that, GoDaddy gets to upsell all sorts of like web design products shopping cart product, but these are like really low quality in terms of the overall industry. These are not the industry leaders. So you can be fine purchasing your domain name at GoDaddy, but don't fall for, don't get sold their e-commerce or um, other kind of solutions because there's better options. Okay, so that's what I have to say about GoDaddy because a lot of people do fall into this trap. Now, the other, the, that category of product of e-commerce solutions I wanted to mention is Squarespace, Squarespace, yeah, Squarespace and Weebly. They are going to give you a beautiful looking site. They specialize in pretty templates. Um, for Squarespace, the e-commerce solution, solution is relatively new. I'm filming this in December 2014 and uh, we, uh, Squarespace's e-commerce solution is, um, I think it's less than, a year, less than a year old. So again, if you have just one product or a couple of products, it's probably okay to um, use Squarespace, um, but in my mind, it's very not flexible. Um, you know, because you're not, yeah, you, I, I, when I've used it, the designs are great. It's, you, you will get beautiful sites, but I personally found things to be not so flexible. Um, so, and Weebly and Wix are sort of like, uh, second in quality in that category. So I wouldn't really use, even though it's possible, I wouldn't use that category of sites um, to build your e-commerce solution, right? I would go, depending on your needs, WordPress or Magento or uh, Shopify, and it should be just fine. And you should really just be just fine. Those are fantastic solutions um, for whatever kinds of things you need. So that's it. And uh, I think you're pretty much set. You understand how this will work.